Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this, we are going to go through the layout diagram questions on advanced control workflow. So let's see some of the questions. Question number one, which statement about sequences in UiPath is not true? And I would highly recommend everyone to start commenting the right answer for the question. Please do participate that would help you to sharpen your knowledge. Which statement about sequences in UiPath is not true? Now look at the questions. In when you get this kind of questions, not true or true, you need to be very careful. So not true means you have to see which is the incorrect one. Option A, sequences are ideal for step-by-step -step workflows and linear data entry process. They provide straightforward linear representation for easy comprehension. C. Sequences are incapable of handling error handling mechanism within an automation. D. They offer an uncomplicated top to bottom flow suitable for procedure workflow. Now these are the sentences written. Now let me know which is the right answer. First of all, I will explain. So take your time. Please do pause the video and comment your answer. I hope you have commented the answer. Let's see what is the right answer and why. So here the right answer is sequences are incapable of handling error. Is that true? It is not true. The first option sequences are ideal for step by step workflows and linear data entry process, which is absolutely true. In this you can see for sequences linear and step by step workflow. This is the right option. Now look at the option B. They provide a straightforward linear representation of for easy comprehension. This is also right. Option D. They offer an uncomplicated top to bottom flow suitable for procedural workflows. Here you can see the word uncomplicated, right? There you go for a sequence. So here you can very well know why C is wrong. If you focus on this word, it proves advantages in implementing it. It is actually good when it comes to error handling, right? It has advantages. It's, so the sentence is completely wrong when it said they offer an uncom uh, this one sequence are incapable of handling. So this is completely wrong. So your right answer is C. Now let's move on to our second question. Which statement about flow charts in UI path is not true? So it's talking about flow chart, which is not true. Flow charts are well suited for workflows with multiple decision points due to their free from structure. B, they allow for enhanced flexibility in connecting activities and present workflows visually. Flow charts are similar to sequences and offer a linear representation of process. D, flow charts enable the creation of complex business processes through multiple branching logical operators. Now take your time and please do participate. Do comment what is the right answer for this question. Now the right answer for this question is flow charts are similar to sequences. No, and offer a linear representation. This is, this is wrong. Now let's look at other sentences. Are they right? For example, A. Flow charts are well suited for workflows with multiple decision points. So here the keyword is multiple decision points. If you come to the flow chart, here you find multiple branching logical operators. That means decision points, right? So this is one of the area. Looking at the option B, they allow for enhanced flexibility in connecting activities and present workflow visually. So here if you read the sentence, Flow charts provide enhanced flexibility, right? You get flexibility in connecting activities and present workflows in a visually appearing. So you can see how I am highlighting the keywords, which becomes quite easy to remember these keywords. And when question comes, we can easily determine which is the right and wrong. So you got this enhanced flexibility, right? Uh, visually workflows visually. Okay. Now option D. Flow charts enable the creation of complex business processes through multiple branching logical operators. We saw this word. Now it is talking about complex businesses. So if you again see here, there's a word called this enables you to create complex business processes and connect activities in multiple ways. Okay, these are the important keyword complex business processes you can use it for. 
So here you know why the C answer is a true, not a true statement. Now let's move on to our question number three. Which statement is not true about state machines in UiPath? So please do participate. Again, comment for this question. A, B, C, D. A, state machines allow for design of event-driven processes based on finite number of states and transitions. So let's talk about finite number. So always remember to identify that keyword. B, they are suitable for high level project organization for complex, for complex and continuous processes. C, state machine present interconnected states executed sequentially with no branching logic. D, they are commonly used in R RPA framework like the robotic enterprise framework, RE framework, okay. So now tell me which one of these are or correct and which one is the wrong one so please do participate do comment it is required for you to really participate in all these question answer sessions that i have presented in the series so do let me know what is the right answer okay so i hope you have got the right answer and you have commented so let's see the right answer for this is state machines present interconnected states executed sequentially with no branching logic so this is an incorrect statement now other statements are right so it is talk, talking about executed sequentially no it state machines will have branching right so this is not right now option a state machines allow for the design of event driven processes based on finite number of states now if you come to state machine here you can find it some of the processes are better expressed in interconnected states interconnected states so all the states are interconnected okay like re framework which are executed again and again whenever necessary a set of like the uh, the process state get transition state you know runs again and again a set of activities are performed um, so here are uh, keyword was finite number now look at for the finite number if you do a control f and you should find that Okay, so here it is. Uh, in studio state machine workflows layout lets you design event driven processes based on a finite number of state and transition. Finite means limited, you no, know, you have a specific number of states, defined number of states. Okay, so you got to know why that statement is correct. Moving on to the second one, they are suitable for high level project organization for complex and continuous processes. Now, this complex and continuous process, where do you get it? Now, if you look at the same area, this layout should be used for high level project organization. See, look at it. These words are important. And complex and continuous processes. Complex and continuous processes. Getting it? So, this is one area. Now, they are commonly used. Now, you must be knowing if you have used RE framework, state machine is the main topic or main component for RE framework. So, thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.